Malibu Forest, perhaps one of the most iconic places in Belgium. And 40,000 to 60,000 people who come here each year will probably agree. I recently went to this forest and I'm here to share my experience. Hi, my name is Mansi and I recently visited this wonderful place. I've also learned some great things about this place and I can't wait to share with you so that you can plan your trip before the good weather flies away. Halibu Forest is just very close to Waterloo and uh, it's 30 minutes by road from Brussels. You can also come here by public transport. You can arrive at Halle station and then take the shuttle buses till Halle Forest. As soon as you arrive here, you will find volunteers who will guide you through your trajectory. You are here, parking too, on mm -hmm. the big road. You go straight that way. Okay. Yeah. For 15 minutes, about. Here we see a, a sign. A bit. This is Acht Dreven. That okay. means eight roads come together. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. Eight different routes into different directions. We were so excited to visit this place. The Halibos is the most important and most extensive forest area between Zen and Zonian. The forest is a crowd favourite thanks to the beautiful purple carpet of bluebells which bloom around mid-April. The varied relief provides wonderful hiking opportunities and makes a visit to this forest more than worthwhile. This forest covers 552 hectares which is about 1360 acres of land. It is mostly situated in the municipality of Halle in Flemish Brabant and has also a little part in Walloon Brabant. So you will pass through the borders of these two regions when you are in the forest. The forest is known in the region for its bluebell carpet which covers the forest floor for a few weeks each spring, attracting many visitors just like us. The super cute bluebells are scientifically known as Hyacinthoids non scripta. They are found in Atlantic areas from northwestern Spain to the British Isles. Ever wondered what is the history of this forest? It is definitely so popular these days thanks to the social media, but it's quite interesting to know what's the story behind it. So historically, the Halibos was part of the Silva Carbonaria, so basically a coal forest along with other forests in the vicinity, including the very popular Sonian forest and Myrdal. So you will be surprised to know that as late as 1777, it was still connected by a woodland strip to the Sonian forests. And uh, during World War I, most of the old trees were removed by the occupying German forces and reforestation took place from 1930 to 1950. Now I think you will understand why I said it's an old forest with young trees. After World War I, all the possessions of the Arenberg family were taken by the Belgian government as surety for German reparations. So in 1929, the Hallerbos finally came into the possession of the Belgian state as war compensation. And then, rest is history. As I told you, between 1930 to 1950, the Hallerbos uh, was reforested. That was the video on Halibro Forest and uh, we completed 10 kilometers of walking and it took us about two and a half hours to leisurely stroll around and enjoy the beauty. So this might be a sign to come and visit Halibro and be quick because it's very rare and you don't get such good time in rest of the year. <laughs>